back, everybody. Renee is here. Renee Lucas with LCS Heating and Cooling. Welcome back. Thank you. Great Welcome to be here. Welcome back. Thank I you. told you a lot of times when it comes to stuff in our home, I think we don't we don't really know how much damage, I guess, can be caused until we see it or mm -hmm. we think, oh, the air, the water, my oh, I think we're good. And you just dismiss it, right? Do you see that a lot with people? All the times. Time. All the time. And I we're going to specifically talk about what people think happen with humidifiers and what's okay. really going on kind of behind the scenes. Okay, so break yeah. it down for me. Where do we get started? Well, I tell you what, this is a whole house humidifier. And so a lot of people are familiar with portable humidifiers. You know, you might have one in a baby's room or your kid's room or something like that. But yeah. if you are dealing with really dry, itchy skin, dry eyes, static shock, yeah. itchy throat, a whole house hum humidifier is a great option for that. And so this is the machine itself, but okay. there's so much more that goes to it. It actually gets installed on your ductwork, and then there's a drain line that comes out and everything else. But this is this is an April Air. It's it's one of the best on the markets out there. So okay. so with the humidifier, that's going to produce humidity all throughout your home. And people often say, hey, is there any maintenance in it? Well, compared to a portable humidifier, it's essentially maintenance free. So, okay. you know, with a portable humidifier, you're constantly changing those canisters. You're mm -hmm. filling them up with water. Mm -hmm. So if you don't fill them up every day, it's not going to work. Okay. So with the with this, there's a drain line going to it, so there's constant water flowing. It's mm -hmm. all done for you. And this might be a silly question, but mm -hmm. what does that do? Why would you need something like that humidifier in your house? So in the winter, Indiana has really dry, cold air a lot in the winter, and so humidity levels can get down to 30%. And so when it's that cold, that's when you're going to start feeling the effects of the really dry skin, the static shock. Okay. If you have a piano in your home, it won't stay tuned. It'll go out of, oh, in and out of tune. Yeah. Wow. So humidity plays a huge role. That is in, interesting. Yeah, absolutely. In the summer, it's the exact opposite. The humidity right. levels can be 70%, 75%, and you could potentially have mold issues and, okay. and everything else. So All humidity right. control is a really big deal. Wow, that's yeah. a big factor. Okay, well, let's move on. Let's talk about what you brought here. Yes, so this is this is what is inside of a humidifier. This is called a pad, humidifier okay. pad. And you go ahead and feel it. You can feel it's made Ooh, of metal. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, yeah, really, yeah. you can't bend it. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. So this is a manufacturer spec pad that goes in here. And it's not a filter, but I... You know, I like to think of it as kind of like the furnace filter. You need to change yeah. it to keep everything working right. right. This needs to be changed okay. to keep everything working right. And it's just because the water flows through How here. How often? Definitely once a season. Okay. But for some people, twice, maybe three times. Okay. It depends on how cold it is, how much this is running. Yeah. It depends on your water quality, which is what I'm going to show you okay. next. So you'll Ooh, see. Is that what this is? Look how gross this is. Ah. <laughs> So is it just hardened water? It is. It's just it's lime and calcium buildup oh, from yeah, our water. Up. And Ooh, so it's bad. really important if you have a humidifier to have a water softener or some sort of conditioner for your water. Okay. Because as you can see, this is actually from one of our customers' homes, and they had wow. a water softener. They did? Uh -huh. And so it's still... Was it just not working the way it should, or is just... Yeah. Really hard water. So what happens is if you don't have your humidifier maintained, okay. which with maintaining it, you just come in and we clean all of that out. We check the electricals, clean out the drain line. Mm -hmm. So as you can see with this line buildup, this will eventually, this gets really impacted yeah. and built up. And then if water can't flow through that, the drain can get backed up or it can get blocked. Okay. It'll actually look like this is leaking. Like water will like come out of this. Almost seeping out. Yeah. Okay. And so people will call and say, hey, my humidifier is leaking. Well, it's probably not the machine itself. Uh -huh. It's probably that it hasn't been maintained. Oh, okay. And the water, the water. Okay. Very quickly. Yes. What, what's here? Yes. So this is the humidistat. So people often say, you know, what humidity level should I have in my home? Yeah. It's going to depend on the temperature outside. And so if it's 40 degrees, we've had a lot of those days this winter. Oh, so yeah. if it's 40 degrees, you might easily get 45% humidity in mm -hmm. your home. However, when it's 20 degrees, 10 degrees, you can expect more like 30 to 35 percent okay. to be the achieved what you really want. And mm -hmm. so, question for you: Do you know oh. the how? Yes, here's a quiz. On the spot. Oh my God! <laughs> Do you know how to tell if your humidity level is too high in the winter mm. in your home? I'm gonna say no because I want to know your answer. Okay. Wink, wink. If your windows are sweating, yeah. If there's oh. condensation, if you see windows sweating. 
actually, if your humidity level is too high in the winter, your windows start sweating, it will eventually cause caulk to peel or it could cause paint to Interesting. peel and everything like that. So, so many it's really important. Things, right? Mm -hmm. You just don't know. Absolutely. Renee, and, oh, go ahead. Oh, go on, ahead. A, on a stat like this, like that humidity level can be adjusted. So if it's warmer outside, okay. you know, it can be a little higher. If it's colder, you definitely need to turn it, it down a little what bit. You need. And of course, go to yeah. them if you have questions. We'll put their info Absolutely. on IndyStyle.tv. Okay, Ryan, did you learn something? I did. It's fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And I'm still eyeing these pierogies and red cabbage from 101 Beer Kitchen in Fishers. Up next, why not treat your sweetheart to a show? Her Valentine's Day. We find out what's on stages around Indianapolis when Indie Style continues.